Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with the reveal of our card kit called Fly Me Away. This card kit is full of really beautiful imagery and also watercolor effects with the papers. I'll start off with the stamp set. This is a 6x8 stamp set and it has this gorgeous bouquet of flowers. These are perfect for watercoloring and they have that old time etched look. Really, really gorgeous. You can also stack those all together. There are also open letter greetings that you can stamp and color in or leave as is. So that is a 6x8 set called Beautiful Flowers. We have a couple really special things in this kit. This first one is a Tim Holtz Resist Spray, and this is a one ounce bottle that you can spray through a stencil or splatter it onto a card base, and then it resists all your distress inks and watercolors. I've even tried it out on Yupo with alcohol inks, and it works beautifully. Be sure to clean off your nozzle after you use it each time with a baby wipe or a wet paper towel. I'm super excited about this next item. This is the Tim Holtz Sizzix Botanical 3D Texture Fade, and this is an embossing folder, and it gives you really, really deep embossed effects on your paper. I have used the gold paper that's included in this kit, and I ran it through, and it did work out really well. You can use this on all types of cardstocks, and it is suggested if you're going to use your regular cardstocks to wet them down first, just spray them down, and then run them through the embossing plate. Be sure to hang on to your packaging because it has that sandwich recipe that you'll need to get a really great effect with this embossing plate. The papers this month are from Moda Scraps and there are 12 sheets of single sided papers. These have really beautiful watercolor effects that you can use as backgrounds for your cards. You can trim them down and add them to a card front and stamp a simple greeting from the stamp set. There are quite a variety of patterns to use. Some are very soft and watercolor and muted, but make great backgrounds for stamped and watercolor flowers. Several of these papers have hot air balloons. This one is one of my favorites. I think it would be really perfect just to add a really nice greeting. It almost has the look of watercolor paper to the top. Susie Plantamera has designed a custom watercolor card for this kit, and we also have a swatch of Daniel Smith paints. And this has your primary colors, so be sure to mix your primaries together to get some secondary colors. And that's perfect to go along to paint with this watercolor card. We've included a couple of the Simon Says Stamp envelopes, and these are metallic cornflower and metallic white. The metallic cornflower matches perfectly with the cornflower cardstock so that everything will coordinate. Our full sheet cardstocks this month are the Tonic Gold Pearl Mirror, which I used with the embossing plate. And we have Simon Says Stamp cardstocks in 120 white, 100 pound cornflower blue, 100 pound smoke, and then a new one that we're introducing into this kit, and this is the Simon Says Stamp Peacock. I have some inspiration for you. This first card is from Nina Marie Trapini, and she has stamped those flowers on the outside edges of a card. She watercolored in her flowers and then added a greeting in the center. I created a card using the embossing plate, and I added some Simon Says Stamp clear ink to the embossing plate before I ran my paper through to create a two-tone letterpress effect. Heather Hoffman created a card where she stamped her greeting onto the cornflower cardstock and then stamped her flowers on white cardstock and then she cut off the top edge and mounted it to her card. And finally, Susie Plantamera used one of the hot air balloon papers where she stamped her greeting and then added sequins for a nice effect. I hope I've given you plenty of inspiration using our Fly Me Away card kit for June 2018. Be sure to visit our blog for more inspiration, and as always, thanks so much for watching.